operators using heavy tipping equipment must remain vigilant of the dangers that exist during the tipping cycle. Adhering to the principles of safe operation of this tipper will help to prevent serious incidents which may lead to equipment damage or pose a risk to the health and safety of both the operator and people in the vicinity. The tipper should be used in accordance with its intended use. Starting with loading operation, care should be taken to distribute the material evenly throughout the tipper body. Uneven distribution of the load increases the risk of the vehicle overturning in all environments. After completion of every loading operation, the body should be covered with a suitable sheeting system, with any accessories, for example ladders, stowed in the transport position. Before starting the unloading operation, the following points must be checked. The hydraulic oil level in the system. Refill if necessary and find the cause of any leaks. If the ambient temperature is near the lowest working temperature indicated on the oil tank, the PTO should be engaged for a minimum of 5 minutes prior to operating the hydraulic system. This will increase the oil temperature to the appropriate level in the system. Unloading the tipper should be carried out on firm and level ground. The tipper should not be unloaded on uneven or unstable surfaces or during unfavorable weather conditions such as strong winds. These conditions may seriously affect the stability of the vehicle. It is also not advisable to operate the vehicle on an adverse slope either to the side or rear. Doing so may seriously affect the stability of the vehicle or damage the hydraulic tipping cylinder. Before starting the tipping operation, you must check when the body is fully tipped if it is clear of any objects. For example, trees or power lines, such collisions are extremely dangerous. The tipper body must not be operated if the rear tailgate is locked or when the sheeting system and ladders are not stowed. Finally, before unloading, the operator should stop the vehicle and apply the parking brake. To begin the unloading operation, engage the power takeoff and next move the control lever to the tipping position. The unloading operation should be performed in a continuous and controlled manner at an engine speed in accordance with the hydraulic system recommendations. Exceeding recommended operating speeds will increase fuel usage and shorten the lifetime of the hydraulic components and the complete tipper. In extreme circumstances, this may result in serious damage and or lead to hazardous situations. Raising or lowering of the tipper body should be performed in a controlled manner. Although interruptions to the tipping operation should be avoided, the operation can be stopped by moving the control lever to the neutral position. Remembering at all times, this should be done in a safe and controlled manner. If this interruption is carried out abruptly with a heavy load, it may significantly increase the pressure in the hydraulic system and may result in serious damage. Particular care should be taken with loads that may stick to the tipper body or freeze during transport. Such loads will affect the stability of the tipper and may lead to it overturning during operation. If, after the tipping body has been raised significantly, the load still does not begin to discharge, the operation should be stopped and the body should be lowered in a controlled manner. If this situation occurs, assistance should be sought to identify and resolve the cause of the sticking load. A similar danger arises if the loaded body is raised with the rear tailgate closed. In such cases, the same action should be taken as with a sticking load. 
If the operator becomes aware of a real risk of the vehicle overturning during unloading, the operation should be immediately stopped in a controlled manner and the body lowered smoothly. The risk should be identified and overcome before recommencing the operation. If during the unloading operation the vehicle begins to lean or start to overturn, the operator should remain in the cab, lean into the seat and firmly grasp the steering wheel. Under no circumstances should the operator attempt to leave the cab. After the body has been fully lowered, check that the load has been discharged. If a significant amount of load remains, the unloading cycle should be repeated. If the load continues to stick after repeating the operation, assistance is strongly advised. Under no circumstances should any person go beneath a raised tipper body unless it is empty and fully supported, for example with body props. The tipping cylinder should not be left in the extended position for longer than 30 minutes as this may lead to contamination and product damage. Lowering the tipper body should be performed while the vehicle is stationary. The vehicle should never be driven whilst the tipper body is still lowering. After completing the unloading operation and before lowering the body, the PTO should be disengaged. This will increase lowering speed and reduce fuel consumption. To begin lowering, move the control lever to the lowering position. After the tipping cylinder is fully retracted, the operator should wait for approximately 20 seconds and then move the control lever to the neutral position. A major contributor to the overall operational safety is the condition of the tipper installation, which must be correctly inspected, maintained and serviced on a regular basis. A visual check of the tipping cylinder, all mounting brackets and bolts should be made on a daily basis. If the brackets require greasing, they should be lubricated every 40 to 50 tipping cycles, depending on the amount of dust present in the working environment. The hydraulic oil level and condition of the hydraulic hoses should be visually inspected on a daily basis. If this inspection reveals any leakage or damage, the operator must report it to a supervisor. Once a week, the air filter in the oil tank should be checked for cleanliness. And once every six months, the air and oil filters should be changed. The oil should be changed once a year if using the vehicle in a typical 40-hour-per-week operation. Replacement oil should be suitable for the hydraulic system and its operating environment, in particular ambient temperature. Oil should not be replaced if the tipper body is raised. Pressurized hydraulic systems can be dangerous. It is therefore critical that the hydraulic system is only serviced and maintained by competent and qualified personnel. Several other key parts, such as rubber pads, bolted connections of the underframe, the underframe itself, the rear hinge assembly, the stabilizing mechanism, the tailgate hinge, and the general condition of the tipper body should be inspected regularly. By adhering to these guidelines, risk and possible damage can be avoided, and you will benefit from long-term, safe and trouble-free operation of your tipper.